All right, welcome back to the linked list series by Max Codes here on YouTube. And welcome back to the developer channel. If you're new here, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe already before you even watch anything because yeah. Anyway, what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're going to be learning how to append nodes to our list. Now in the last couple videos, we built this out and we went over what a linked list is. And if you're interested in starting from the beginning, which I highly recommend, go ahead and check out the links in the description to get to the previous video, or just go ahead and check out the entire linked list series here on my channel and you should be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What we need to do is append nodes to our list. And how exactly do we do this? Well, what we need to do is we need to take in a value and we need to somehow create a new node and link them together in our list. And this can be really intimidating if you've never done this before. Uh, just coming back here and recording this uh, sometimes gets me thinking like, whoa, do I even remember this? So if it's uh, a bit confusing, don't even worry. You're gonna be learning exactly how to do it in this video and we're ready to do that, okay? So what we wanna do is create a new function inside of our linked list. And what we're gonna do is go inside of our linked list here on like around line 30 and say public func append. This is gonna take in a value and this value isn't gonna be string, it's gonna be T because of generics, right? So if you remember what we talked about in the last couple of videos, then this shouldn't be anything new to you, at least if you've watched those last couple of videos, okay? Now what we're gonna do is create a new node. How do we do that? Well, we just need to create a new instance of LL node, or in this case, node since we type alias it. Okay, so what we need to do is say let new node is equal to node, and this is gonna take in a value of T, right? So we'll pass in the value, no matter what it is, string, integer, or whatever, and it should work. Now you might be wondering, well, if we said string here, and then we go down here and say list.append, can we just pass in like an integer? And what we can't do that because we've already said that the linked list is of type string. So at compilation time, it now knows that this is a string, okay? So that kind of converts to that under the hood. So what we need to do is pass in a string when we're appending a value like so, right? So what I'm gonna do is type in list.append and the value is just gonna be maxcodes.io. Okay, so when I compile that now, it's not really gonna work or it's not really gonna do anything because we haven't really done anything with this new node. And it's actually pretty basic all we need to do. We just need to say, okay, well, this new node's previous needs to be the last node that we had and then it's next node or sorry, the new nodes previous needs to be the last node and the last nodes next node needs to be the new node. And that's really confusing to kind of just explain, right? So let's just type it out and kind of explain it as we go. All we need to do is say, if let last node is equal to last else. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we're saying, okay, well, if we have a last node, then run this code. If there is no last node, so if there's no head, if there's no nodes in our list, then run this code, okay? So let's kind of think about how this would run, okay? If we're saying if let last node is equal to last and this doesn't compile, okay? So if it's nil, if this returns nil, then this obviously means we don't have a last because we also don't have a head, okay? So it's gonna return nil, which means no nodes in list. But if it does return something, then this means we have at least a head node, okay? So we say at least one node in the list. What do we wanna do if there's a node in the list? Well, we wanna take the new node and set its previous node equal to the last node, okay? Now, what is the last node? Well, it's the last node in our list. So what we're doing, let me pull up a little diagram, is we're taking our new node and throwing it on the tail. Let me pull up a better diagram that I have here pulled up in sketch. Okay, so we append a new node, all right? And this new node is now going to be the last node in our list. Let's see, I think that's it right there. Okay, so let me pull up the code so we can really kind of look at this just so you can explain it or just so you can understand it the best. 
patience. All right, and you'll see we have our last node, okay? So we have our tail, and its previous node is gonna be, our new node's previous node is gonna be this node right here, okay? And then the last node, so our last node's next node is gonna be the new node. So what we're doing is, let me just kind of mess around with this so I can really show you what's going on because I want you to understand this. Let me expand this and let me expand this a bit so we can add in a new node. And let me just copy this node right here and paste it here. Okay, so this is our new node, right? What we're doing is we're saying, okay, get the last node. So we have our last node. And let's take our new node, so this node, and let's set its previous as the last node, okay? So this previous is this node now, right? But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in another line and we're gonna say last node dot next is equal to new node. Okay, so we're taking this last node and setting its next to the new node. I guess I could have explained that a lot easier. I don't know why that was so hard for me, but uh, I think you get the point, right? We're saying take the last node's next, set it to the new node, take the previous, the new node's previous and set it to the last node. Okay, so now this is the tail. Okay, so we can move this tail over here and move this nil. I can't grab it, but basically we want this nil to be on this new last node, right? Okay, you get the point. It's cut off, I didn't even realize it was cut off. Okay, so this is now the last node, okay? But we haven't really specified that because we just got that there. So this last node is still referencing that node, but this is the new tail. If we were to call last again, it would take that node, okay? Now, we haven't set the next on this new node, right? We only set the previous, which means the previous has a value, but it's next is nil, okay? So that's the new tail. Hopefully that makes sense. Go ahead and kind of look at that logic, think about this and write it down in either sketch or on a piece of paper, and you'll understand how this logic works. Okay, so what if there's no nodes in the list? Well, we want to simply set the head equal to the new node, because if there's no nodes in the list, then head doesn't have a value. Let's set the head to the new node. Okay, so that's how you append. Let's go ahead and try it out now. Let me hit play here, and you'll see that it works just fine, okay? If you hit the I there and you open this up, you'll see the value in there somewhere. But we don't really need to worry about that. Let's go ahead and paste another here. I'm just gonna say ASDF, because it's quite a different string. I'm gonna hit play here, and we should be able to see here now that we have a value, okay? And this is really hard to see, right? Now this video is all about appending, but we can't really see our list. So what we're gonna be doing is in the next video, we're gonna learn how to first count our nodes. So we're gonna say list.count and it's gonna return two. And then in the next video after that, we're gonna learn how to print it all on the screen, okay? So just be patient. You now know how to append nodes to a list. Let's go ahead and hop into the next video where we're gonna learn how to count our nodes. See you in just a second.